Patrol Union says migrant processing centers are already over capacity. ABC 10 News reporter Sierra Encinas visited one center in Otay Mesa and found capacity at well over 100%. Throughout the day, Border Patrol vans and buses have been entering and exiting this temporary processing facility here. It looks like a giant white tent, and it's been here for at least three months now. It's only supposed to hold about 500 people, but this morning, a Border Patrol union representative tells me there were 900 people inside. Capacity limits are being tested at the seven facilities near our border. Migrants are crossing into the San Diego sector daily between the border fences. Wednesday morning, a Border Patrol union representative told ABC 10 News at least 1,000 migrants from all over the world were waiting at the border near San Ysidro. Angela Chavez is part of that group of asylum seekers. She's from Colombia. She says she's been waiting to be picked up by agents to head to a processing facility for two days. I came for a better situation, for a better economic future, and for a better future. She has three kids back at home that she hopes she can create a better life for. In Colombia, for them to give us a visa, they quoted us an appointment for 2026. She says that's why she didn't apply for a visa. She also says she didn't know about the CBP-1 app, the online portal the U.S. government is asking migrants to use before presenting themselves at a port of entry with asylum pleas. The union representative says agents haven't been given a plan on what's going to happen once Title 42 is lifted. The rep says capacity just 37 hours before at all seven of the stations across the San Diego sector is now at 128 percent. The union representative says in total there are 3,037 people in the facilities. We reached out to Border Patrol to confirm what capacity looks like inside of the many processing centers around San Diego County, but they say they can't talk about that due to operational concerns. For now, in Otay Mesa, Sierra Encinas, ABC 10 News.